If you have a specific date on your spreadsheet and you want to calculate the next effective date, then I'm going to share a few formula. Along with this, I will teach you how to copy paste those formula on your spreadsheet and how to customize those formula. Okay, if I simply click on these three formula, these are calculating the next week date. For example, in this case, my next week date, I want to calculate on each of the Monday. So this formula will give me the date on each of the Monday. And you can simply change this three to any other return type. For example, you want to, let's say, specify Monday through Sunday. You can simply specify two. And if you want, let's say, Thursday to Wednesday, you can simply specify 40. The next formula are the similar formula, just I change 7 to 14 and this will calculate the next effective date after a week. And the third formula is also the same, but it will calculate the next effective date after two weeks. Now the orange seer formula are very, very important. This formula will calculate semi-monthly repeat on the first or 15 of each of the month. For example, this is my current date and this is greater than 15. So this formula will calculate me the my first because I want to repeat the date after 15 day. And if I simply change this date, let's say I'm just going to change this date to let's say 2 and simply hit enter. So my current date is April 2 and now the formula will return April 15. So this is very, very useful formula to calculate the date on the first or 15 of each of the month. So if you have specific tasks which repeat after 15 day, this formula is very useful for you. The next formula will calculate the next date after the end of month. For example, this is April 2 and this will calculate the same month end date. The next formula is calculate 15 of the each month irrespective of the date if we have greater than 15 day or not let's say i'm just going to change this date 20 and simply hit enter it will calculate me the next month 15 day let's say you want to calculate the next effective date but you want after each month and you also want my date will be repeat on a 15 of the month instead of the first or the end of the month so this formula is very very useful the next formula will calculate quarterly date repeat at the end of each quarter, March, June, September and December. For example, this is the 18th of April date. So it will calculate the next nearest quarter, which is actually the June. If I, for example, change this date and I simply type, let's say 7th, which is July, and it will calculate you the next quarter, which is September. So this formula is very, very useful if you want to calculate the next nearest quarter date. The next two formula will calculate the effective date after each of the year. For example, this is my current date and I want to repeat my date at the end of each July. So this will calculate me July 31st date. And let's say if I want my date to repeat on each of the September, this will calculate me the next September date. And for example, I just changed this date and instead of let's say I want 5th of uh, or 6th of the month and simply hit enter, it will still calculate the date. But for example, I just want here. But for example, if I change the date from let's say 6 to 8 of the month and simply hit enter, this will calculate the next July date, which is July 25. And this will calculate the next September date. So these formula are very, very useful formula. And if you want, you can simply change the reference, which is Evan Seal. Simply copy this formula, hit Control C, paste on your sheet and change the reference. That's all about. I hope you like the video. Thank you so much.